right, now that I have that cool 80s retro glow, neon glow. All right, so I'm gonna select my permit here from camera view. There we go. And I did join everything earlier because the, um, the main pyramid body here was one cube. Their stairs were another cube and the rails were another cube. If you have not joined everything yet, go ahead and select all three objects. Select one, hold on the left mouse button. Select the other ones, then hit Control J for join. Uh, now that they're joined, I'm gonna go ahead and name this object here. There is this cube. I'm gonna go here to the outliner, left click in there two times. Name it uh, original pyramid. Here we're mint. There we go. Enter. You can put OG in there too. For me, it also means original. All right. Now I'm going to create a duplicate of this pyramid here. And then the duplicated one's going to get a wireframe modifier. The wireframe modifier would um, reduce the mesh just to the edges of the pyramid. So I'm going to create a duplicate, Shift D, and immediately just right click. All right. So by uh, whenever you create a duplicate, it creates a duplicate in the same space. And so by me right clicking it, it puts it back to the original spot and I have a duplicate. See, there's my duplicate there. Now I'm going to double click that one. I'm going to name that one Glow Pyramid. It also could have named it a Retro Pyramid or Wire, wire Pyramid, Wireframe Pyramid, whatever you want. Enter. All right. This way I can distinguish between the two. So I'm going to go back to Original Pyramid here. I'm going to color it black. So I'm going to go down here to Materials. There's a Materials icon here in the um, Properties panel. And I'm going to click in here, type in black, enter, there we go. And then down here in base color, I'm going to click inside the white around the rectangle, click in there. And to make black, just bring this down here, this is the value. So here's our color wheel, and click around there to make different colors. And if when I'm darkening the color, I can just bring this down, makes it darker, bring it all the way down. I'll make all colors black. And there it is. Can't see it here, so that's because I'm in the solid viewport shader. I have to go over to look dev or rendered. I'm going to go over to render right here. The rendered solid viewport shader. There we go. Cool. Looks nice and shiny. I'm going to go with the glow pyramid. Glow pyramid there. All right. So the glow pyramid uh, also has the, uh, the black material applied to it. I'm going to hit the minus sign right here to remove it from it. There we go. Now I'm going to go over to the wireframe here. Sorry, the modifier. Click on the wrench here on the properties panel. Modifier. Add modifier. I'm gonna go with wireframe. Wireframe right there. Cool. See, there's a wireframe right there. I'm gonna leave these settings here alone. I'm gonna go back down here to materials, and then new. Create a new material. I'm gonna call this one glow. Enter. Then down here was the surface principle BSDF. Click in there. You can change the type of material that's going on there. Let's go with emission. That way it emits, it radiates, it's light. It's color emission. There we go. Down here, color. Click inside the color, uh, the white render rectangle. And go ahead and create your own neon color. And go with green, yellow, uh, like a pink, purple. Anything that looks retro. I'll go with the green color here. There we go. Let's see. You can get a preview of it. It's not going to be glowing yet. That's it. Uh, but you'll get the color there. Hit F12 on your keyboard. See, there it is. But I want the glow, so I'm gonna hit the escape key to get out of there. Escape. All right. So to get the glow, I'm gonna go over here to render. Click on render. Render's property tab, and just activate bloom. See the bloom? Just check off that box right there. Add a check mark to that box. There we go. So now if I hit F12, it will have a glow. All right, wait for it update. Uh, it doesn't look too glowy. Let's make it. Let's give it more glow. Hit escape. Let's go down to uh, materials, increase the strength to 2, enter, all right, now I have 12, loading, 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 there we go, see it looks a little more fuzzier, I'm going to close that out, let me go back over to the wireframe, bring this down to 0 0.1, 0, sorry, 0 0.1. Zero one. There we go. There we go to make it look a little thinner. Now we have 12. There we go. I like the look of that better. Let's see. Let's try dot zero one five. Enter. F12. Cool. 
escape key. Now uh, I'm going to color the background here. I'm going to go to world. Here's this color. I'm going to go with a darker shade. There we go. F12. Cool. So you can see something coming off right there. Nice. All right. So now I got my retro glow there. If you like, you can add another plane here. And then the wireframe will follow the uh, the edges of your objects. So all the edges got converted to the wireframe. Then we made a glow. That's basically what we did. So I'm going to output. And I'm going to leave all this stuff here as is. I want it as a PNG file. So F12. And then to save this, I'm going to go to image. Save as. And then just name it. And I can turn that in. And I got myself my retro glow pyramid. And that's it. Easy as that. Thank you for watching.